Beignets are back at Café du Mont and traffic rolls past Jack's Brewery in the French Quarter. Less than five minutes away is the house where I was born. The house where I took my first steps is completely unlivable. This is the water line right there. So, and then the mold just is kind of taking over. I love this house. It wasn't big, but it was ours. My parents, Barbara and Barry Braxton, evacuated to Chattanooga two days before Hurricane Katrina hit. They've been there ever since. Chattanooga is their second home. They took care of us emotionally during a time when we really needed them. This was my mom and dad's bedroom. My parents and I came back to see our home. Our molded furniture now sits on the street waiting for the garbage man to pick it up. It's hard to imagine, but among this debris is 36 years of my family's memories. My father was too emotional to talk. My mom describes our neighborhood and our home. What's left now is a shell of our lives. We've shared many beautiful memories here. Uh, you all were born here, and uh, it held a lot of good memories. And um, the memories I'll have, the structure is gone. And as my mom grieves over our house, she also grieves over the friends who died in the storm. I was speaking with a friend of ours, and 18 members of that family died in Lower Nine. But through it all, our family spirit is strong. My parents say we'll rebuild bigger and better. That's the only way people will get their families and their lives back together. And my mother is asking on her new Chattanooga neighbors to help her one last time. Keep praying for us. We need all the prayers in New Orleans. And also, if we can build Iraq back, we can build New Orleans. And it must be done because we can't be a community lost. And I'd like to say to the people of Chattanooga, God bless you and thank you for everything you're doing for us and for the other 1,500 families that are there also.